So it's pretty common to be a little cheeky in Rust. Ripping up the small man in order to get ahead and having no regrets about it. It's just pure business, baby. It's nothing new. But you see, from where I'm standing, I don't need to rip up the little man to get ahead. Even though I have the option of taking advantage of the weak in this game, I devise a scheme that is worth its weight in scrap. Scamming Bandit Camp. I guess in order to explain my scheme, I need to give you information on why I began scamming. With the server wipe, I decided to play for the first time in over a year. The problem with me coming back was that everyone on the server had their blueprints from the previous wipe, and all I had was primitive weapons and tools. With me being fresh to the game, PvP would not be a strong suit of mine. I knew my odds of succeeding on the server would be low if I did not learn all the blueprints in a hurry. With that being said, I need as much scrap as possible, and I needed it now. However, there were multiple problems with this. The safe way of getting scrap for me was to go out boating and hit up all the rafts. Other people had the same idea and bowled me the entire time. The option of scrapping at sea was no longer safe. The other issue I had were the zergs that were scattered all over the map. They locked down most of the monuments and they would camp the monuments. I had no way of doing all these monument puzzles with these freaks out here. My options of getting scrapped seemed like they were dwindling, but that all changed when I decided to base up near Bandit Camp. On this map, Bandit Camp was right next to Train Yard. That is when the brilliant idea hit me full force. Scam Bandit Camp. If there was anything that I learned with my business degree, it was that I knew how to scam others. Well, my college didn't exactly teach the art of scamming, but they ripped off thousands of dollars from me for a pretty simple major. But right now we're getting off topic. You see, Bandit Camp has a merchant that is willing to buy items in exchange for scrap. For one high quality metal, the merchant will give three scrap. For one red key card, the merchant will give 80 scrap. At this point, you may think I'm rambling on about sales, but these numbers will play a crucial role in my success. If you remember correctly, I said that Train Yard was right next to Bandit Camp. My idea is that if I could successfully complete Train Yard and sell all the items to the vendor at Bandit Camp, I could do the monument on repeat, which would set myself up perfectly. The only problem with this scheme was that I would need the green and blue key card to do this monument. However, that was a problem I could handle. Both the lighthouse and harbor were on the east side of the map and next to one another, while my base was located right in the center of the island. All I had to do was collect the green key card at the lighthouse and use that key card at the harbor to get the blue key card. With this element taken care of, it was time to begin my brilliant scheme. As you may already know, the procedure for train yard is pretty simple. Turn on the two generators on the outside skirts of train yard. While going for the generators at train yard, you loot the green military crates along the way. After turning the generators on, you head to the main building in the middle of the monument. Now you use a fuse in the two key cards to open the two loot rooms, which now completes the looting the monument. This is a pretty simple summary of how train yard works. With this knowledge, I applied it to the scheme. If I collected every military crate possible and collected all the crates in the loot rooms, I would make out like a bandit, which I did. You see, on a typical loot run at Train Yard, I would garner anywhere from 200 to 300 scrap based on scrap bulls alone. This is not including the high quality metal nor the red key card I gathered either. If we include the high quality metal, I would typically get around 40 to 80 HQM, which equates to 120 to 240 scrap per run plus an additional 80 scrap from the red key card. Generally, I could probably say that I made about 400 to 620 scrap per run. If you remember correctly, I said that train yard was right next to bandit camp, which my base is right by both monuments. All I had to do after each scrap run was to simply wait about 10 or so minutes for the loot to respawn and do train yard on repeat. At this point, I was making around 1,200 plus scrap per hour by exploiting the close proximity of train yard to bandit camp. With the scrap that I got from my exploit, I was able to get every blueprint in the game without even having to get involved in a single raid or having to kill a single person. Without scamming bandit camp, it would have been a struggle to get as much scrap as I did in such a low amount of time. Now, you may bring up the argument that I should have kept the red key card so that I can go to the launch site as there is much better loot there. And you're right to a certain extent. Let's look at this from a reward slash risk analysis. If you look here on the map, this is where my base is located. Now look here, these are all the zergs that would be in my way. It would be too dangerous to attempt a launch site as the distance is too far away from my base and those freaks of nature would be everywhere in the area. As I've stated earlier, I'm not good at PvP and I would only lose my valuables in the process. Doing the launch site would only cause more harm to myself than good. With exploiting band camp to my benefit, I was finally able to kick my feet up and enjoy playing the game instead of grinding for scrap. 
I was able to finally partake in PvP and raiding. I was able to build a strong base that should be able to fight raiders. However, as good as my accomplishments were, reality finally kicked in. A week after getting every blueprint in the game, a trio with rocket launchers steamrolled my base. We defended with all of our might, but it was to no avail. While the base and battle were lost, we ultimately won. It was a struggle to get that base built, a struggle to survive, and a struggle to catch up to everyone on the server. But the accomplishment of getting every blueprint by using that exploit was worth hearing the rockets pounding the base and the bullets whizzing by. It was a sweet yet bitter victory. Thanks for making it this far and take care.